close your eyes and watch your breath. Make up your mind you're going to stay here all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. I'm trying to make the breath comfortable so it's a nice place to stay. And then do your best to maintain your original intention. This is a quality called truth. You make up your mind to do something good and you stick with it. That's truth. Often we think of truth as being just a quality of words, but it's also a quality of the character. You see that something is good, and even though it's difficult, you decide, I, I want to do that, I want to accomplish that. And then you stick with that original intention. You don't become a traitor to yourself. All too often we're actually true to our worst intentions and become traitors to our good ones. In other words, we decide to do something bad, and for some reason it's really easy to stick with that all the way through. That kind of truthfulness is not what we want. And the truthfulness that sticks with what you know is good, what you know will be for your benefit or the benefit of the people around you. And we're talking about true benefit here, long-term benefit. And then no matter what the obstacles are, you stick with your original intention. That's what gives power to the intention. I mean, there's merit in the original intention, but for it to become powerful, you have to be true to it as well. Then when you've been true to it, then even just speaking about what you've done will have power, too. It's like training your children. If you tell them to do one thing but you do something else, your words don't have any meaning. But if you're true to your words and your words are true to you, then you have power and your words have power as well. In the same way with your own mind. You make up your mind to do something good, but then you don't do it. Your mind begins to know, okay, this, this is just a bunch of lies. I don't have to pay any attention, and then it gets easier and easier for the mind to slip away from its good intentions. So you have to show yourself that when you make up your mind to do something good, you're going to stick with it. And you stick with it all the way through. That's teaching a lesson to your mind, that it's the good things in life that we're true to. Those are things that have power in our lives, that make life something really worthwhile, make our lives something of benefit to ourselves and other people. So we may have nice thoughts, but if it, only when you're true to your nice thoughts do they actually become real. Otherwise they're just ideas floating in and floating out. But when you see something that's really good, you stick with it. Then it grows. And your mind changes as a result. It becomes a, a mind that's more and more true. Your character becomes more and more true. And this is where the quality of truth in this was really important. That way, when you make up your mind to do something, you can trust yourself, you do it. And that makes it easier for you to overcome obstacles. If you've given in to obstacles in the past, it becomes a habit. But if you learn how to overcome your obstacles, okay, that becomes a habit too. Make that the habit of your mind, that habit of truthfulness. This way it becomes a perfection that we develop in our character. So wherever we go, whatever we do, we know we can trust ourselves. So once we see something is right, you're going to stick with it. When we see something is wrong, you're going to let it go. You don't have to be true to Mara, but try to be true to the Buddha. In other words, by being true to his teachings, making them real in your thoughts and your words and your deeds. The drama itself is already true. The question is, how true are we? Can we make ourselves true? And our answer inside should be, yes, we can do it. And then stick with that answer.